this episode of The Other Siders, the team investigates a reportedly haunted hall of justice. Have you been opening and closing the metal door? Who's that? Workers say the building is haunted by spirits who have been sentenced to more than just jail time. I have a weird feeling about this place. I think something's gonna happen. Will the team dismiss these claims as local legend? Or will the team rule in favor of this place being haunted? We spend so much time at headquarters, we have to have a little fun with each other once in a while. I got that whole thing on video. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Before an investigation, there's a lot of nervous tension in the air, and sometimes we get a little goofy. So what do we have for locations this week? We have the Founders Memorial Park, which is also known as the Dead Man's Park. So there's reports of mysterious fog and feelings of being watched. I'd keep this one in mind. All right. Each week, we meet at headquarters and discuss a bunch of different locations that are reportedly haunted, and we pick the best place to investigate. We also have the Black Diamond Mines. Okay, that just sounds creepy. That just sounds cool. There's reports of odd sensation and disembodied laughter. That'd be really creepy to hear. We also have the Santa Barbara Courthouse. Why is the courthouse haunted? It says here that before the Santa Barbara Courthouse was built, on the actual land, that's where they used to have gallows. What are the gallows? It's the structure where they would hang people. Ooh, yeah. That's an explanation? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe why there's paranormal activity? So those people might be still sticking around. It has pretty much every type of report. Shadows, orbs, apparitions, weird noises, everything. I think this could be a really great place for yeah. us. So we're all in agreement. This week we're going to investigate the Santa Barbara Courthouse. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right, let's make a plan. After we decide on a location, we all come up with a plan. The courthouse is a really great place for us to investigate because there's a lot of different reports. There's actually a story here that a guy named Ramon Lopez killed his girlfriend, and he was hanged right on the land where the courthouse is built. He might think he's wrongly convicted, and that's why he's staying around to haunt the place. That's a good point. Also, there's this clock tower that they used to play wedding music, and sometimes if people can hear like the wedding music going on when nobody pressed the button to turn it on. Maybe both of them really wanted to get married. Oh, that's creepy. I'm actually really interested in this elevator because it's reported that when people walk in or out of it, they get tripped by an invisible force. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty weird. I want to test that. So, Riley, I thought you hated elevators. I don't plan on going up and down, and I just plan on walking in and out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's pack up the gear. Yeah, let's head down there. Santa Barbara Courthouse is a great location because it has such a long history and a lot of paranormal reports because of that. All right, guys, so we're heading to the Santa Barbara Courthouse, and there's been some pretty crazy paranormal reports here. Yeah, there's this one hallway where people see really strange shadows and hear high heel footsteps. Oh, that's so creepy. Yeah. yeah, and actually near that hallway, there's a spiral staircase that leads to this room, and in that area, there have been reports of, like, a weird force opening the window and then swirling all the papers around in the room. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, hey, isn't it? Yeah. It's been here since 1926. I'm really excited about going to the clock tower because, look, it's like all the way up there, and it's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in the entire courthouse. Well, let's get the gear. We should definitely set up base camp here. Yeah. All right, let's set up. After we unpack our equipment, we gear up. I pass out our headlamps, locator beacons, and walkie-talkies. We are on channel five. All right, guys, let's go set up some cameras. After we set up base camp, we cable four IR cameras to monitor throughout the night. 
We decided to set up cameras in the hallway, the clock tower, the public defender's office, and the elevator because they had the most reports of paranormal activity. Alright guys, I really want to start with the elevator because people have reported being tricked by some invisible force. You know, that was the exact spot where Ramon Lopez was hanged and that makes me want to go check that place out. Let's do it, guys. Sweet. Yeah. We'll stay back at base camp and monitor the cameras. Okay. All right. Good luck, guys. We'll see you guys later. Yeah. I have a weird feeling about this place. Like, I'm not really scared. But I think something's gonna happen, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know how you feel. Guys, it's the elevator. Sweet. It could be anything causing the people to trip. We yeah. don't know it's parallel. So I think we should test it. Yeah, get in there with the EMF. Oh, EMF stands for electromagnetic field. And we used an EMF detector to detect electromagnetic fields that spirits could give off or interrupt. You get anything on the EMF? No, nothing. Okay. It looks pretty even to me. Yeah, unless they're tripping over like where like the this. elevator and the floor yeah. like me. Oh my gosh! Sam, Zach, and I were investigating the elevator when all of a sudden the door closed totally by itself, right on me. Where the elevator and the floor like me. Oh my gosh, the door just closed by itself. That was weird, you were just slammed in the elevator. Yeah, but you like had your foot in front of it and then it just started closing. Well, yeah, yeah, usually in elevators, they, they have like a sensor. Yeah, yeah. sensor. That like if you push on it. Thanks for the guys. Go for Zach. We can see you guys on the elevator cam, what's going on? Well, on the elevator, Riley was like inside it. Yeah, it pretty much just forced Riley like into it, like to split him in half. Wow, is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He got out. Why don't we go back to base camp? All right. Sam, Riley, and I did a thorough investigation of the elevator, but we're going to monitor the surveillance camera we set up there and see if we can catch anything paranormal. Hey. How was it? What about the elevator and you being crushed? That was kind of weird. Jackie and I thought it may have been the spirit of Ramon Lopez, you know? Yeah. Well, I definitely want to head up to the staircase where there have been reports of papers swirling and this metal door opening and closing, and I really want to see if we can catch that. That'd be really cool to see. I think I'm going to come with you. Okay. I really want to go to the clock tower because they play music from there, and there's a tape deck, and sometimes people can hear, like, the tape running when nobody turns it on and nobody turns it off. Oh. That's really scary. Yeah. That's really weird. I want to go check that out, too, guys. Take a voice recorder for sure. Definitely. Yeah. I'll just be on base checking if you guys need anything. All right. All right. So Jackie and I are going to go investigate the clock tower because they have an old-fashioned tape deck and sometimes people can hear the wedding music playing by itself, like something's pressing play. Whoa. This is so creepy. It smells kind of weird in here. Do you think that's paranormal activity? I don't know, because not many people come down here, so it probably hasn't been cleaned for a long time. That's probably why it smells. I think this is the PA system. So I have this microphone, it's a voice recorder. We're pretty much gonna have this recording the entire night. And if the tape turns on by itself, then it's gonna get it on here. That so, sounds really good. Yeah, hopefully okay. we can get something. I think I'm gonna put it up here.
This is the staircase. This must be the big door that opens and closes by itself. Sam and I are in the office above the spiral staircase where there have been reports of hearing footsteps and wind swirling papers about. So we decided to do some call and response to hopefully capture some evidence of that. Hello, spirits. It's Casey and Sam. And we come here just to investigate. We're just going to ask a few simple questions and hopefully you can answer them. If there's anybody here, could you please make any noise to show us that you are here with us? Could you tell us your name, please? Are you Ramon? Have you been opening and closing the metal door? What was that? Was that? Sam? Sam? Whoa! <gasps> what was that? I don't know. That paper totally just moved. Did you hear something before, though? Hey, no, wait, it no, totally wait, no. sounded like somebody was coming up the yeah. stairs. Casey, do you remember the reports of high heel footsteps? Yes, that's exactly what it sounded like. Okay, please come here. Okay, the door is much more open than it was before. Like, a lot. Like, look. Oh my gosh, Sam and I just heard high heeled footsteps coming up the spiral staircase. I cannot believe we just confirmed a paranormal report. Like, it sounded like footsteps and then the... Sam. I'm being really hot, too. I don't know if it's just nerves, but... Check it on the thermal camera, see if you can see anything. Yeah, no. What's even freakier is that it's confirming the reports that we had. Really, to everybody. Yeah. Is anyone in the hallway taking pictures? No, but the hallway is right beneath where the stairway is. Okay. There's been like eight flashes. Okay, another one just happened, like lightning flashes. I would suggest someone go and check that out. Over. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hustle. Sam and I are on our way. I want to hurry up before it stops happening. Over. Zach and I aren't getting anything the clock tower, so we'll go check that out. Sounds good. All right, we need to hurry. Casey, for base. Go for base. Okay, Sam and I are in the hallway. We're not seeing anything, but we'll look. We'll keep you posted. Okay, because what I saw are distinct flashes, like, like eight of them in a row, over. Where relative to us, like closer to the camera or farther away? Like right where you guys are, it was the whole room lit up, over. We're not really seeing the flashes, so we're gonna do some call and response to see if we can pick up anything. Okay, everybody go dark. If there's anybody here with us, could you make those flashes of light again, please? Ramon, are you here with us tonight? Ramon, if that was you, can you do the flashes of light again, please? If you could show us any form of evidence, we'd really appreciate it. <gasps> what? I saw a shadow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a person? Like, like, like the head go by. Whoever's... <gasps> what? I saw that. Is that I saw right that. Over there? Wait, what? Oh, shh. I thought I heard footsteps. Nobody's over there. Casey for Riley. Go for Riley. There's like an area where you can see a shadow where we're sitting, and we keep seeing the shadow walking back and forth, and we don't know what it is. You guys should definitely try to find that. Over. Okay. Ramon, if you're here with us, please give us a sign. Could you take a bigger form, please? Casey, Sam, Zach, and I were down in the hallway doing call and response when all of a sudden we see these really creepy shadows. Could you take a bigger form, please? <gasps> oh my god! Where is it coming from? Is it over by the stairs? Over by the 
you want to stop? Could you take the form of a shadow again, please? You're obviously trying to contact us. Why are you stopping now? Sam, are you making anything up on the flare? You guys, this thermal camera just died. I have a full battery, so it definitely could be some of the paranormal trying to give energy to itself and taking away from this. If you want us to leave, give us a sign. Rally for everyone. Go for Casey. Something kind of interesting. A janitor has reported seeing a shadow kind of run back and forth. So that's kind of cool, because it's almost like you guys are confirming that report right now. Over. That's crazy. We're coming back now. All right, sounds like you guys did a really good job. See you when you come back. Riley, that was insane. Dude, it's crazy. Did you guys, like, feel any kind of a presence? There's this big strip of light on the wall, and we keep seeing this shadow running, running back, back and, and forth. forth. I must have seen it three times by my own myself. I saw oh, it at I least ten. Like, I saw it at least ten times. Okay, what I think the coolest part about that is you're confirming an exact report. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Something was definitely trying to get our attention. Yeah. yeah. We have so much evidence to go over. It's crazy. Yeah, I think it's time we pack it up and head on home. All right. All right. All right. Good job, guys. After we finish an investigation, we all go back to headquarters where we look over all of our audio and video footage looking for any evidence of the paranormal. I was looking over the video footage from the elevator and I saw something I've never seen before. No way. What's happening? Uh, the elevator no. is open by itself. I think the elevator senses that someone's there and needs to go down. Apparently a ghost wanted to take a ride on the elevator. What if one of us walked by and pushed the button? Because if one of us sent it up, it's going to open like that. It wouldn't open if you weren't in it and pressed a button. Okay, setting a, setting aside the whole elevator thing, what is the thing that, like, flies into it? It totally looks like a music note. Okay, well, yeah, okay, but it's not a music, like a music note. note. Obviously not a music it note. Looks like, it looks like a how do you eighth know note flying by. Let's watch it again. It goes away. It looks like a little okay. piece of, like... Lint. It does look like lint in the beginning, but where do, do you see it? Where does it go? Yeah, it goes into the elevator. It, you don't see elevator. it go into the elevator. You'd see it Thank like you. gradually getting like smaller. Oh, I think God. the timing of it is really, really weird. The fact that exactly. it comes into frame, door opens, it okay, completely disappears. I think disappears those have nothing to do with each other. Just a coincidence. Okay. You don't see it go out of frame. That's credible for me. Maybe not the piece of lint string, whatever, but the elevator, definitely. I agree with you. I think the whole thing's credible. I agree with you guys. I definitely think the elevator is credible, but whatever's flying around, I don't think it's credible. I don't think anything is credible. So this is the audio footage from when Sam and I heard footsteps. Casey, do you remember the reports of high-heeled footsteps? That's exactly what it sounded like. The door is much more open than it was before. Take a listen. That was us. I can hear me in the beginning saying that was high old footsteps. Yeah, I can hear but anything, I didn't anything else. else. I just heard a lot of... That was me. That's all I heard. Wait, does that mean we didn't get the high heel footsteps on the voice recorder? Okay, because I, would, I need you guys to hear yeah. that. How loud were the footsteps, Sam? They were really loud. I'm really sad we didn't catch anything because I know you guys probably believe us, but I really yeah. wanted you to hear it. I mean, at least you guys hear it. It was so distinct mm. and it was so loud. That's why I don't know why the voice recorder didn't pick that up when it's more sensitive than our ears. Obviously, there's nothing in that. Yeah. But well, at least it, was, you... it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. At least yeah. you guys had the experience. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys remember when I was back at base camp and I radioed in and I said I was seeing flashes of light at the uh, hallway camera? Okay, there's been like eight flashes. Okay, another one just happened, like lightning flashes. We did get down there pretty quick, and we didn't see any lights, but we definitely saw shadows. Yeah, yeah. We I remember the those. craziest shadows. And so I had a camera with me, and this is the footage that I caught. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh! <gasps> that's a shadow of a person. <laughs> Riley, that's what we were seeing. <gasps> play it again, let's, play it again. let's replay it slowly and see if we can pause it to see if it has a headlamp. No way. I'm telling you right now, that's not one of us. It's paranormal. Sorry. Hey, wait, can we pause it? I just, I just want yeah. to see it in the middle. Okay, well, I don't see a headlamp there. Yeah, I mean, 
I'm like scared all over again. You it looks like they've got. They, it looks like they've got maybe not a, not a headlamp, but it looks like they've got like a poked out. I think it just looks like a head. Yeah. I think it looks like a scary oh ghostly figure. When we yeah, were there, I was freaking out. Yeah. No, I don't see any headlamp. Yeah, it's there. normal. And also, if you look yeah, at it, it's not like taking steps either. It's just floating. It doesn't look like somebody's walking. Well, do you think this it's is, like, like this is really hard for me to tell, but. All four of you guys said you saw something like this several times and saw yeah. it more clear, so yeah. that's why I'll call it credible. It's definitely credible. All right, guys, so we went over our evidence. We talked about all our experiences. It's time to come to a decision. Do we feel that the Santa Barbara courthouse is haunted? The high heeled footsteps, yeah. in my opinion, was definitely Ramon's girlfriend. It totally sounded like somebody was coming up the stairs. Yeah. Did you hear those footsteps? Yes, I, heard footsteps. I mean, I definitely think this place is haunted. And I think that shadow is Ramon. <gasps> what? I saw a shadow. Like a person? Like like the, like the head go by. Oh. Just the shadow, that all in all made my decision. I have to call this place haunted. Yeah, same with me. Just to see those shadows, it was crazy. So I'm going to have to call it haunted. I mean, I don't know. To me, Ramona's girlfriend were definitely haunting this place. I think a lot of her evidence does lead back to that. Yes. Yeah. Even though I didn't have a lot of experiences, just like listening to you guys and hearing from each and every one of you of either high-heeled footsteps or something falling and then seeing a couple of the pieces of our evidence, I would have to say is haunted. So that means that our final verdict is that the Santa Barbara courthouse is haunted. As the webmaster, I post all of our evidence we get during an investigation online so people can decide for themselves whether a place is haunted or not. I think the Santa Barbara courthouse is haunted because I cannot explain the shadows that we saw or the footsteps that we heard. I am terrified of elevators, so while it's trying to crush me, all I'm thinking about is Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die in an elevator, and that's my worst fear coming true. Elevator one, Riley zero.